Yo, folks, welcome to the channel. This is your boy Jay, and I'm here with another video. And this is an update from a video I did about a month ago when all these Diddy allegations were coming up. Now, Slim Thug and Mano were two of the rappers who kind of defended Diddy, but didn't defend Diddy. And when I did the initial video, people were in my inbox saying, you know, let's wait for everything to come out and all these things to come out. Now that the video has officially came out, even though it was in 2016, the video has dropped. Now people are starting to say, well, Diddy is this and Diddy's monster and all this. I've always said if there's smoke, there's fire. But before we get to Slim Thug's statement to Cassie, which he put on Instagram yesterday, we're going to go to Spiritual Word on Instagram. And this is the L.A. D.A. office talking about this whole Diddy situation. And I want to look at what they said. They said they can't they can't pursue the case. Now, let's go to Instagram. It says the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office made a public statement after CNN released the video of Sean Diddy Combs physically assaulting Cassie. Unfortunately, we would be unable to charge. Now, this is from the DA's office. We are aware of the video that has been circulating online, allegedly depicting Sean Combs assaulting a young woman in Los Angeles. We found the images extremely disturbing and difficult to watch. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we will be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where crime of assault can be pr prosecuted. As of today, law enforcement has not been presented a case related to the attack depicted in the video against Mr. Combs. But we encourage anyone who has been a victim or witness to a crime to report it to law enforcement or reach out for support from our Bureau of Victim Services. And this is from the L.A. County's office, May 17th, 2014, which was yesterday. Yesterday. Now, people are asking, why can't they prosecute sean combs for something that happened in 2016 it's pretty simple i think in states there's a statute of limitation i think los angeles has a statute of limitation of about this happened in 2016 2024 it's eight years so i think the statute of limitation is seven years let me know in the, the uh comments if i'm right or wrong, right or wrong about that i think it's about seven years and people are like well why did Bill Cosby get charged with all these crimes? And why did R. Kelly get charged with these crimes? And these happened years ago. I'm going to tell you why. Because in certain states, the statute of limitation is longer in other states. Remember, when Bill Cosby got charged with his crimes, I think it was in Pennsylvania. And I think there isn't really a statute of limitation in that state. And I think... um R. Kelly was Illinois, if I'm not mistaken. I think his was in Illinois. So there wasn't a statute of limitation in that particular state. This is why, you know, Bill Cosby got hit with, uh, hit with charges later and R. Kelly got hit with charges. This happened in 2016. And you heard in the statement that the attorney's office, even though they seen the video, if this had happened in 2023 or oh, this would have happened this year. Oh, did it? They, they would have hauled Diddy ass off the court. But see, this happened in 2016. And also, I heard that Diddy tried to pay somebody $50,000 to actually destroy the video. Well, Diddy, no Diddy. It didn't happen. The video got leaked to CNN. And from there, everything happened. Everybody talked about it. And now, we're going to get to what I wanted to get to with Slim Thug. Slim Thug says this in a statement and this is from slim thugs instagram account and it states let's go ahead and talk about it and it states for the record this is basically him talking about i'm sorry about what he said to cassie and honestly i really i really have to say that this is big on slim thug because at the end of the day you know, a lot of don't understand that, you know, this is serious. This is something that is very, very serious. And now this is what Slim Thug had to say. This is from the real Mike Media. Damn Diddy, I tried to ride with the black man who had no charges yet, but I can't stand behind this. 
I'll take this L, but I still will ride with my people until I see some sort of proof. I don't believe the blogs of civil suits. Apologize, apologies to Cassie and whoever was on the right side of this all of the time. Now, this to me is this goes this goes a couple of ways. Number one, this shows me that people need to see actual footage or something to change their mind. People don't believe when a woman tells you she's been assault. I, I understand why some men will say this Bobby was a cash grab or this is just her trying to get attention. But I'm going to tell you something. Most women, when they say they've been assaulted or something has happened to them, it's happened to them. You have to take their word for it because in today's society, especially with people who are as powerful as Diddy, a lot of women will be scared to come forward. Cassie came forward and filed a lawsuit, even though it was in 2023. People said, why didn't she do it in 2016? Why didn't she do it in 2017? You got to think. Back then, she was much younger. She probably didn't know the steps to go through. And then as she got older and decided, you know what? I'm going to tell my story. This is what happened. And I told people, if Diddy didn't do anything wrong, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have settled that quick. I told people that on... I think one of the um one of the I did, and I said Diddy wouldn't have settled that quick if this had happened. Now for Slim Thug to come out and say that in a post to me shows you know that it was some growth, and also it's showing me that we got to take these accusations and criminal charges really seriously. I'm not saying that you know that everybody the lawsuit is against Diddy is true, but we have to take it seriously. And the one thing that I think a lot of states need to start to do is they need to lift the statute of limitations. Because a lot of times that I've heard this, I've heard this when I was in different forums with women. A lot of women tend to not want to come forward quick because of two things. Number one, a lot of people may not believe them. And number two, they're scared. They're scared to come forward because of repercussions. This is why when you see these cases and they're coming years later, I used to be like, now why are they coming five years later? But then a lot of somebody would say, well, you have to have the courage. And people would say, oh, cash is a cash grab. No, this wasn't a cash grab. Because if this was a cash grab and this didn't happen, then Diddy would have took it to trial. This is the thing that people need to understand. Public opinion will destroy Diddy. Public opinion will destroy Diddy. He doesn't have to go to trial for this situation. Public opinion will destroy him. And it's currently destroying him as we speak. Everybody doesn't, they don't want to do anything with Diddy. And after this video came out, and I told you when I did the video the other day about the whole Diddy situation, just like Ray Rice. As soon as that video came out of Ray Rice, he was banned from the NFL. Diddy will be blackballed from the industry. He'll be blackballed from everything. Because they don't, people, corporations, businesses don't want to put their, they don't want to be beside somebody who did something like this. And, you know, I'm going to get Slim Thug for stepping up and saying, you know what? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. And I'm apologizing to Cassie and all the other victims of SA. Because it takes a real man to do that. But it's your boy Jay here with another video. If you like the video, hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. You know me on my road to 5,000 subscribers. Also, I have memberships for my people who want to join the page. I have exclusive videos just for my members of unreleased content. Hit that join button. Join for as little as $4 a month on my channel. It's your boy Jay the Reactor with another one. Until next time, folks, I'm out.